So what are LDM tokens? How do they work? How are they calculated? I bet you guys have a ton of questions. So let's break it down into two parts, LDM and tokens. LDM stands for large design models. These are Locofi's proprietary foundational AI models that we have built from the ground up. This is actually what powers Locofi when we convert your designs into code. Our AI has been trained on millions of designs, which means that it's able to accurately recognize components and features in your designs, optimize your design, apply responsiveness, and even rename layers to make it more useful. So for example, Locofi is able to detect that you have an accordion in your design and generate the appropriate code for it. It takes into account how it should look, how it should function, and whether it should expand and collapse when it's clicked. Tokens, on the other hand, are essentially credits that are added to your account when you select a plan. They're consumed when you convert your designs into code. If you're familiar with how tokens work with popular GPT apps, Locofice is somewhat similar. Okay, so you guys now understand what LDMs are and what tokens are. So when we put them back together, LDM tokens are Locofice version of a credit system. Now you're probably wondering how LDM tokens are calculated. As previously mentioned, these are only used when converting designs into code, so that for every layer in your design that you convert into code, one LDM token will be consumed, and this includes all parent and child layers. Okay, so let's walk through a really quick example over here. So in my Figma design, you'll see a gallery of cards over here. Let's use the main component as an example. So I'm going to zoom in. So you'll see the Figma layer structure on the left here. Let's give a quick count as to how many layers there are. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's a total of 13 layers, including the parent layer. So this means that when I convert this into code, it will consume 13 LDM tokens. Now, of course, you don't have to count the number of layers yourself. Once you open up the local five plugin, at the very bottom, you can click on the calculate button. And in just a few seconds, the plugin calculates how many layers there are and tells you how many LDM tokens it will consume. So you see 13 over here that matches the number of layers that we just counted for this component. Now let's take a look at some real world examples. In this first example, you'll see an Airbnb style website with one homepage and two sub pages. As a general rule of thumb, it's always good to keep in mind that the height and complexity of your design are the main factors of determining the number of LDM tokens you need. So a well-structured design typically consumes around two to 300 LDM tokens for shorter frames and four to 600 LDM tokens for taller frames. So for this homepage here on the left, you can see that it's rather tall, rather complex. The estimated number of LDM tokens is 460. Whereas the sub page in the middle here for property details, it's shorter and less complex, consumes only about 340 LDM tokens. Lastly, the sign up page on the right is not only shorter, but super simple, only consumes about 60 LDM tokens. This next example shows some mobile designs and obviously mobile designs are much shorter, much less complex. So they require a lot less LDM tokens per frame. So we all know that design and development is an iterative process. You're always going to be making constant small edits to your design. So if you've already localified your design, just like how I have over here, you can always go back to Figma and make any small edits that you want. So let's say I want to change the background color for this card from black to let's say a dark purple. When I run this through Locofy again, it automatically detects that I have made an edit to the card and it prompts me to regenerate the code just for that layer instead of regenerating the code for the entire card again, saving you those LDM tokens. I would also recommend optimizing your designs to conserve your LDM tokens. There are a few ways to do that. For example, you can flatten multiple layers I've also added a link in the description below where you can find out more info about that. So if you guys have any more questions about how LDM tokens work, we have a page dedicated just for that. There's also an FAQ at the bottom to answer any of your questions.